All right, everyone, today is day seven of the Lomation Cleanse, and boy, do I feel itchy. Um, the rash has just started, so I don't know if mine was a little bit delayed, but yesterday I noticed that my skin was like more reddish in color, and it itched a little bit up on my forearm and uh, my uh, upper leg, um, but now it seems to have spread, so I feel itchy from the back of my neck to my upper shoulders. My arms and uh, my back are completely itchy. Um, they feel more so itchy than yesterday, and it feels kind of like you have poison ivy. Um, if you can see this, but it's a little uh, red. So the detox rash does itch a lot. Um, I know from person to person it varies, but mine itches like crazy. Um, and my skin has started to turn even more red in certain areas. So you will see a few raised bumps with this depending on how you get the detox rash. Everyone's different with Lomatium, and that's what I thought was pretty cool. Some people get the full-on rash, which is really strong, and others may just get a little bit of uh, rosiness. Um, but I think mine is growing a bit. So I also felt more fatigued today than I did yesterday, and I think that's part of the detox rash is because, like I said before, when you kill off a large number of pathogen inside your body, you're going to feel the effects, and that usually is fatigue, and that's where the rash comes from. So it's a good thing to get a detox rash. I'm still taking the Lomatium as, uh, as I normally would. And I finished up one bottle, so I'm gonna use my second one. And then after that, I'm gonna be completely done with this. So I'm gonna try to take some pictures and better lighting so you can fully see what this rash looks like. But if you guys decide to do Lomatium, uh, post in the comments down below, because I wanna know. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be on with more videos and maybe even do a few documenting if this rash progresses or not. So I'll see you guys soon.